Hey guys, so I'm just getting ready. Um, I'm just moisturizing my lips using some cocoa butter, I believe that is. Um, so what you wanna do is first start by combing your brows up. Um, this helps to determine the width for me exactly um, how thick I want my brows because obviously my brows will be in place I won't have any stress then I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow uh, pencil it's what I use it has the spoolie on the end as well as the angled brush and I'm also gonna go in um, and start by lining underneath of my brows. So here I'm just getting ready. Um, I usually just take the tape and I put it on the back of my hand. I was having some difficulties, I'm sorry. Um, I put it on the back of my hand because the eyebrow gel that I use, it's so hard to wipe off when you don't have um, like a makeup removing wipe. So yeah, I just stick the tape on the back of my hand and then I squirt just a tiny bit of the NYX eyebrow gel. Um, I'm using the NYX eyebrow gel in Espresso. Um, so I just use a little bit of that on the, the back of uh, my hand on top of the tape. That way I can just peel the tape off and throw it in the trash. Um, so what I'm doing here is showing you how I apply that. So literally guys that's all you need is just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way and excuse my face oh my gosh um definitely going through a crisis stressful anytime i stress my face breaks out bad so that's what you see there so again just uh combing my brows up in place and don't know what i'm doing there but yeah <laughs> All right, so at this point, I'm taking the brow and I'm dipping both sides of the angled brush into um, the eyebrow gel. You want to make sure that you have enough on your brush, not too much, not too little. And all of it is just pointing right up. So like the brush that I dip the eyebrow gel in, is it's, it's still, it's neat. And that's what you want. Um, so now I'm just outlining the bottom of my brows according to where my hair, um, my hairline is and how thick I want them. So I start at the bottom, excuse me, I start at the bottom, um, not directly in the middle of my brow, but a little bit, um, if you're watching, you can see a little bit to the right. Um, and then I just outline the base. And then I, I comb it, make sure everything's blended in well. So that's what we're doing here. So the key is to blend that out. Um, my tail, I have hair there. Um, it's just very light. So when I um, add the eyebrow gel, it just makes everything stand out. So here you can really see the difference in the thickness of the brow as well as the color. At the top, I'm just outlining the top very lightly um, to determine exactly how much I want um, or how thick I would rather have my eyebrow be. Now, I did use my brush yesterday, and forgive me because I did not clean it. Rule number one, always make sure your brows, your brows, <laughs> your brushes and utensils are clean. Now I'm making sure that my eyebrows line up with my nose because you don't want them too far up away because then it looks kind of weird. Um, so you want to make sure that your brows are long enough and I I'm not sure what the terminology is for that but you want to make sure that your brows measure up with your the bridge of your nose um, but not too close together. So then I take my brush and I dip it. I actually dip uh, with the point facing down and then I make light strokes upward to fill in that gap where I didn't put any uh, product at. Now I did go a little bit heavy. That's because I don't have my glasses on and I cannot see. <laughs> I cannot see and I was super close to the mirror. So um, yeah that's what happened there so we're trying to blend that all out but those are the strokes that you want to make in order to fill in that space after you've already you know defined or filled in your brows so now I'm gonna start with that next struggle brow that we have going on on this right side Lord have mercy and I'm just gonna repeat those same steps that I uh, did on my other brow here. 
so line the base of your brow make sure everything's combed in and placed and just the best thing that I can tell you guys is just just follow your natural brow if you get them arched follow it if you don't get them arched get them arched <laughs> so that's what I'm doing and also forgive me because I did have my tunes on in the back on this brow I did something a little different um, I did start by um, taking my brush and uh, line in the top more so inward um, just because I can clean that up with the strokes once you get a little bit better and um, more efficient with it then you'll be able to you know know exactly how far to go in when you're uh, trying to long elongate your eyebrow Filling that bad boy in. Don't worry about like the neat, you wanna be as neat as possible, but if you have areas where, you know, your lines might be a little bit crooked or um, a little bit squiggly, a little bit squiggly, <laughs> don't worry about that because you're gonna go in with the concealer and you're gonna clean that up and you're gonna make it as sharp as possible. good making sure everything measures up So now I'm going in with my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm also going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Almond. Um, you want to go two shades lighter than your natural uh, concealer or the highlight that you would use to conceal. Um, if you're new to this, just don't go too dark, don't go too light. So the trick with me or what works best for me is when I take my concealer brush and I already wet it and then I make sure that both sides of the brush are coated with the concealer um, like a paintbrush so to say um, that all strip uh, what am I trying to say forgive me because I cannot speak today um, strands it's not hair but uh, bristles are coated with the concealer then you can start wherever you like um, and just outline the base. So I usually start not all the way in the middle because sometimes, or not all the way to the front, like towards the bridge of my nose. I don't start there because if I start there, I will mess up. So I start a little bit, not in the middle, but right about there, yeah. And then just outline the bottom. And you're just gonna clean that brow up. You're gonna make that brow pop, honey. Yes. And then I can go in towards the bridge of my nose and clean that up. See? See why I don't do it in the beginning? Because I will mess it up. And you wanna make sure your lines are, you know, as crisp as possible because that's what's gonna make your brow pop. Now, <clears throat> just for like a heads up, I don't. Um, use concealer on the top of my brow just because I, I don't know I don't like how it looked I used to do it but then you know I would always have that halo on top of my brows now if I do decide to do it like once my brows start growing out way more than they need to be and I'm lacking on my wax then I may take um, some concealer at the top part of the tail only not um, the whole entire brow so now I'm just I just blended the concealer all the way down and I am gonna cover up my eyes because they are a little dark I have circles dark circles um, and concealer works for me I don't think that I need a color corrector because it's not horrible uh, right there I was trying to fool with that spot but yeah, so we're looking good. 
I apologize that you guys cannot see me because I again I am looking in the mirror I'm trying to oh yes cover that up but it's so ugly sitting on my face Lord Yep, so now I'm just taking the other side and I, my jam must have been on. I don't know what song it was when my song was on. And I'm going to repeat the same steps that I did on the other side. Conceal that other brow, honey. <laughs> I got a little distracted. Um, anytime I want to get like the excess concealer off of the brush and I don't want to put it on my hand or something if I know I have to conceal underneath my eyes I'll just put it underneath of my eyes to get some of the concealer off the brush cuz okay so that was my song too <laughs> okay a little right anyway <laughs> yes so I will blend this down and then after I'm done blending it down, then I will go in and blend out the concealer that I put underneath of my eyes as well as my eyelid. Now here I'm just adding a little bit more because I want more coverage. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with a beauty blender. You know what? That song that was playing was Tink, Treat Me Like Somebody. I freaking love that song stress to it so yes we're just blending this in yes sing it girl <laughs> you know when your eyebrows start to pop then you just start feeling yourself honey <laughs> That is me all day. Yes, sing it, girl. All right, focus. And then I'm just trying to blend that bottom line out more because remember when we first started in the beginning, that was the one um, that I had used way too much product on. And that's the thing, you want to use as less product as possible because again, if I didn't want to put the, the product on my bare skin because it's hard to wipe off without using a makeup removing wipe, that's what's gonna happen when you put it on your face and you screw up. It's gonna be hard to wipe off. Then you, you know, you make a mistake. You're gonna have to wipe it off all over again, and it's just inconvenient. So that was it for my tutorial, you guys. That's all I do with my brows. Um, if you like to see more of that full face look, then I am going to definitely give you that. But yes, so there it is. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like share this video, comment, rate, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.